Hey everyone, I hope you're well. So the new patch has gone live and this is a really big patch. Obviously the event's been added, but there's been a ton of changes and they're really important to talk about because they kind of set a shape for what Apex Legends wants to be in the future and what we can expect in season four. So definitely take a listen through this. I'll of course go through the event page and everything first and then I'll talk about the buffs and nerfs to legends, the buffs to energy weapons and potential for season four stuff and why these changes are important. So all right, let's jump straight into these challenges. So the grand soiree, it seems there are, well, we have this uh, sort of like a mini battle pass thing. Obviously, we have these new game modes right now, Gold Rush Duos, where it's duos mode and only gold weapons. Um, and you get points, basically, by completing these challenges, and that will progress you through this bar. And then you get different rewards for doing so. Now, what's interesting, there is a account-wide wins tracker, which is really cool. So far, it seems to only be for a Pathfinder, though. But... Hopefully, we will see more of these in the future, maybe season four. That would be nice. Uh, what's this? A banner badge. Uh, what else? Banner badge. Okay. Ah, pretty interesting. So, besides that, the store itself. Here we go. Very, very nice. Ooh, okay. This is looking very, very sweet. <laughs> Servin Marvin. That's a very good name. Falling Sky. We've got the Mook Fly. Whoa, that's awesome. Okay, that definitely suits crypto, right? Then obviously there's a Bangalore skin. Very, very great. Now there have also been some items that have been added to the loot pool. Now I don't know if we're gonna be able to find them. We're gonna have to have a quick look through. Maybe we'll do that later. We'll do that later. All right. Now let's jump into a game and whilst it's loads, we can talk about the patch notes because I think they're very, very important. So listen very carefully here. So also, we'll go through the skins and buy them and show them in the firing range in a little bit, so don't worry about that. So, the legend meta, right? This is really important. I'm going through the patch notes now. If you want to see the bug fixes and things like that, then I'll put a link in the description. But the first thing to talk about is Gibraltar's buff. This, yes, Gibraltar's got another buff. Listen to this. Passive. Gibraltar revives squad mates faster while inside the dome shield. That is is crazy. Gibraltar is basically getting all of Lifeline's perks, giving Lifeline even less value, which I don't understand. But even so, why is that happening? Interesting, right? It makes me think that Respawn want there to be sort of like a dedicated support legend, and that tells us something, right? They are looking at how things are going right now internally and what they have planned for the future. So I feel like we're going to start to see more support legends and they're going to play a viable role in Apex Legends. Before, support characters weren't really that important and it seems they really won't want to push for that in the future. Maybe we'll see more support legends in the future. Right now, we only do have, I mean, Pathfinder is not really a support. Gibraltar is a support. You could call Crypto a support. So that brings me next to Crypto, who did get a buff, thankfully. Very cool. So Crypto has had his drone improved and his EMP improved. So the surveillance drone now has 30 health instead of one, which means it's going to survive a couple bullets from guns like SMGs, assault rifles, pistols, snipers and stuff. Yeah, it's not going to last, but that's really, really good. It's not going to take one bullet. I still feel like it needs a bit of more to it, you know, maybe make it less visible, but that's a really good step in the right direction. EMPs now no longer affect friendlies or friendly tra traps, which is also very, very cool. Of course, we're playing Gibraltar because, well, we got a buff. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really, really, really cool. And, okay, so here's the next thing, and this is kind of leading on to Season 4 again. They accidentally pushed an update to energy weapons that was supposed to go out in Season 4. They've removed energy mags again, and now... The Havoc has had its mag size increased to 32 and the devotion to 44. And the description for this basically says that we know that removal of energy mag seems a bit odd, but it makes more sense with the release of Season 4. So like we kind of speculated, it's likely the next weapon will be an energy weapon. What it will be, I have a strong feeling it will be the Vault, but we'll have to wait and see, you know? Oh yes, gold duos, it's going to be fun. Okay, um, what else? Wraith? Now this is a bit confusing, so we'll jump into the firing range. 
after this, but Rafe got a nerf. Um, firstly, her cooldown of Into the Void has been increased from 25 seconds to 35. That's pretty big, honestly. That is... Oh, double master fate. I just realized we've got to go like this. Just check real quick. Texture streaming. Budget. Two gigabytes of course. It's going to lag terribly for you, friends. There you go. Now you get terrible frame rate, but there we go. Yeah, so that's quite a big cooldown to the length. Oh, Kraber. Yes. But it makes sense somewhat because, well, Rafe's a bit powerful, right? So, fair enough. But Gibraltar doesn't really need a buff whilst Rafe is getting a nerf. You know, other legends need more buffs, but hopefully Season 4 will bring those in. Now, the other thing is they've removed the bonus speed you get when using the ultimate and the tactical at the same time. But the thing is, I think what they mean by that is... Um, Oh, by the way, EVA 8, so you can get standard gold weapons in this mode, not just airdrop ones, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's gone. So you don't get that bonus bonus move speed, but they said that Wraith will now have at their combined movement speed when they have both activated. So I think this might actually be a bit of a buff. She may actually move faster when using both at once. Instead of it being like a tiny buff to movement speed, it's both speeds combined. Which is kind of crazy. So we'll see that at the end of this game. We'll go test it into the firing range. So yeah. At the end of this game, test the firing range. Check out all the new skins. Got a ton of stuff to do. So that'll be fun. Definitely stay tuned for that. Or if you don't want to see the gameplay right now, then jump in. Uh, skip to the bit you want to watch. Sorry that this has been kind of all over the place. Crazy. But I just want to get all this information out to you as quickly as possible. This is really big. Now... Make sure to subscribe too, because over the next few days, I'm going to be talking about Big uh, Dummies Big Day, which is kind of like a big event, because there's some changes that have happened to the dummy AI, which may give some hints as to what it actually is. So that's really exciting. Now, I think we've got some enemies over here. Hang on. Yes. Just got to make sure everything is going smoothly. All right. Come in, come in. Hang on, Pathfinder. Uh oh, that's a mastiff. Yeah, I know. Don't you worry, friend. Oh, let me just get closer with my improved healing speed. Wow. Oh, a new. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, that's so cool, though. Come on, you got this. <laughs> Did you see that? A new animation for Gibby? That's cool. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to jump into another game after this. <laughs> right. Let's go check out the Wraith movement speed thing. Let's also have a look. Hang on a minute. That's very... Oh, no, it is that skin. Okay. Right. This is going to be... Uh... Yeah. Wow. Well, give me a second. You know how it is. Sitting on this screen. But bear with me, because we are going to find out if Wraith has had a buff or a nerf to her movement speed. Really important to know. Won't be long. Won't be long. All right, here we go. We'll check out these. Remember, this is a rotating store, so there'll be more stuff coming throughout the event. So yeah, let's get Pathfinder and equip it. Got this Bloodhound one. I'll equip that. This looks really cool, actually. I'm a big fan of that. Very, very nice. Um, Octane one, also. Very cool. It has, like, I don't know, Star Wars vibes to it. Crypto. So, um, yeah, Crypto. Bangalore, also very nice. Uh, then the Longbow McFly skin. <laughs> awesome name. Um, now, let's see... If we can figure out what the new direct purchase items are. Lightworker? Nope. Dark Fright? That's new. Ooh, look at that. Okay. A new Prowler skin. That definitely goes with the Caustic skin. Now, there are five more. Rule of Law? Nope. None there. Let's see if we can spot them. Hazard Pay? No. Siberian? No. What else? Dynastic Cycle? Is that new? No, I don't think it is, right? I think it is. 
Pistol's a wingman. Come on, please have a wingman. That'd be awesome, right? No wingman skin. Okay. Nullifier. That's not new either, right? Uh, pressure down, freezing point. Nope, 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 nope. Monitor in advance. That's new. Look at that. Wow, okay. Cool. That's two? Is that two so far? Very cool. Um, nothing there. Nothing there. Imagine if they put another Mozambique. That would be ridiculous, right? Demolisher. No, no, no. Sniper rifles, then. Let's go to the top. They wouldn't put one of these in. We've already had this one. Uh, okay. No. Kraber. No. They've already got a new Kraber, so that doesn't make much sense, does it? It's got to be something else, then. Nope. 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 Okay. What do we miss? LMGs. Ah. Maybe. No. Spitfire. We've already got a new Spitfire, so that does not make sense. That's strange. Um, do we miss something? We must have. I'll go through later. Oh, of course. Maybe Legend skins. Okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff to go through. We'll find out more. But anyway, let's jump in, show the skins, test to see if Rafe's movement speed is increased. Oh, never mind. We cannot do that. we got to add the show uh, pos. I'm just adding a movement speed thing, uh, command in the game. If you didn't know how to do it. You add CL underscore show pos one in your command and it tells you how fast you can move. Really cool. Um, really interesting for kind of learning how to bunny hop better, that kind of thing. So yeah, all right, back into the game. Back into the game. I do think this is a buff and obviously because it's a buff, they've had to reduce the cooldown a bit to kind of like make a compromise to it if that makes sense I don't think it's a direct nerf actually so yeah that's something to think about the meta in season 4 is going to be kind of crazy um, I don't know what they have planned but I feel like they have something big planned it's kind of strange that they've pushed this uh, Gibraltar right to the top he was like probably he went from in season 2 to never being picked in high competitive play to being picked quite a lot in season 3 and now going into season 4 he's going to be probably 100% 90% pick rate for competitive teams and probably a lot of players are going to move over to play in Gibraltar which is crazy that's like a far cry from what he was from uh, season 1 you know really really strange okay I didn't think it worked let's, let's... did it work? I don't think it did Huh. That's a little odd. Well, let me show you these skins. It did not work. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. This looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm a fan of that. Nice. Very different to the other uh, Pathfinder skins, which is awesome. This one, a uh, bit of a mess, I'll be honest, but that's fine. Let's see Octane's then. Octane's is pretty cool. Yeah, very nice. What else have we got? There is, of course, Here comes Bloodhound. To the Wait for the textures to load in. Jeez. Uh, not the best. I think there's better Bloodhound ones. It's okay. Is that it? I think that's it, right? For this kind of batch. Alright, so I'll go show you these in first person real quick. Third person, rather. And then we will um, get straight back into it. Of course you did. Yeah, so it's a pretty crazy patch. And I'm really excited to see... Oh, really excited to see what comes for Season 4, you know. Well, this is the Pathfinder one. Very cool. Actually, the back of this looks even better than I expected. Yeah, this is definitely a top tier one. Very nice. Then we've got the uh, Octane skin. Very cool as well. Where's my Octane buff respawn? Waiting for that. Okay, this actually suits uh, Crypto's animations. It looks pretty cool. I know a lot of people kind of gave it a lot of hate, but I quite like it, you know. I quite like it. <laughs> um, yeah, 
I'm quite a big fan. Okay, and then, right, let's see the longbow skin then. This is the new longbow one. It's okay. What do you think? Pretty crazy going. Yeah, tons of stuff going on. Then we have this beautiful Spitfire one. Very, very nice. Okay, I think that's it. Cool. Right then. I definitely want to try this Wraith, uh, Wraith thing, so please bear with me again. I know this video is completely just all over the place, but I really want to get this to work for you, friends. Because people are going to think that this is a complete nerf, and I want to make sure that we get that information correct. I entered the command wrong, so that's why it didn't work. I accidentally typed show FPS, which is another command you can use. All right, in we go again. <laughs> and then uh, we'll end up with another game of Joe's. Show you off that crazy Gibraltar animation again. Really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, here we go. Let's rave it up. So we'll see, we'll be able to see the velocity of the ultimate and of the tactical, and then we can see it combined. It should be a small boost before this patch, but Together now, it might be even faster, which is actually really cool. You can use it to almost teleport your teammates. I mean, this might be one of the fastest movement abilities in the game, if it's the case, which is really, really powerful, actually. So before you think, you know, well, let's get the facts straight first. Let's see if that's actually the case. The wording in the patch notes is not good enough, so got to figure it out ourselves. Oh, wrong legend. This time, we'll be different. So what we're going to do, pay attention to the top left, we're going to see the movement speed of um, tactical, the movement speed of ultimate, and then we'll do both at once. It should be a combined value. So for example, right now, tactical, Phasing. 327 is the speed. Ultimate is Setting a portal. 418. Okay. Now, when you did it together before, you used to be able to get a speed of, I think it's like a small bonus. Maybe you get to like close to 500. But now, if I'm correct, it should go all of the way to 700. And for comparison, the zipline speed is 600. You'll be going faster than you can go on a zipline. So, well, let's find out. Let's see. Pay note to the uh, top there. Let's see. Nope. Oh, okay. It's a straight nerf. I was completely wrong. <laughs> well, that's disappointing, isn't it? Huh. That's that's strange. I don't know. I'd... Let's test that again. The wording on that is so strange. Well, I was wrong. It's just a straight nerf. <laughs> yep. Time to... Uh, I'd, yeah, I mean, Rafe's pretty strong, but I would rather, instead of... Um, bringing like a straight nerf to a top tier legend they increase the power of low tier legends 418 446 so you get a really small boost in speed I set the portal. Uh, that sucks all right okay now for some fun we've gone through a ton of information in this video if you stay this far then thank you um, I hope you've found it interesting and I hope that you are... Oh wait, let's have a little look at this Peacekeeper skin. Oh yeah, it's a very basic one. I hope that you're excited about this content too. Um, I think personally, the mode I'm most looking for... How do we see it again? Oh, never mind. I'm most looking for the um, third person. I think that could be fun. Oh, wrong mode. And I'm also looking forward to the Dummies Big Day. I think that's something going to be something really exciting. They've kind of hinted at it a lot now. Uh, yeah, so Lift I Live, not that interesting, I don't think. Could be a bit of fun. Sort of deathmatch, but not really. Third person mode is going to be chaos. Always closing, eh, not that interesting. Armed and Dangerous is always fun. King's Canyon After Dark is going to be great. Um, and then we have Dummy's Big Day, which is like the grand finale. So very very excited to see that i'm also excited to see crypto um see how he does now it's not enough of a, a buff to make him viable 
still. Um, oh look, that's really cool. But yeah, it's 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 good. A move in the right direction for him. But Octane's still a little underpowered. Bangalore's okay. Caustic's doing all right, but I feel like I mean Gibraltar in comparison to Caustic now. Gibraltar's huge, you know, huge. And then Bloodhound, yeah, Bloodhound needs some love. Mirage needs a ton of love. I mean, if you think about their abilities, Crypto can help the team. Watson can help the team. Octane sort of with a jump, his jump pad, even just a tiny bit. Caustic, yeah, I mean, he can. You can use the gas, but, it, you know, it hinders the team a little bit as well. Yes, Bangalore team. Yes, Rave team. Pathfinder team. Lifeline team. Gibraltar team. Bloodhound team. Mirage, uh, hello? There's literally no team-based abilities for Mirage. Um, I, I don't know what they're going to do with him. Poor Mirage, you know? I feel bad for him, in a way. He needs some love. He needs some something going for him. But, yeah, we'll see. All right, the Gibster, obviously. Gibster. Basically, everyone's going to main Gibby now. I mean, why wouldn't you? I don't know how fast it is, but I'm like it basically uh the increased healing speed's probably the same as lifelines, right? Because the increased self heal is faster. Now it's something to note that it only works in the shield and it only works for Gibraltar when he revives people, so I don't fear anything. Ugh, I mean I still super powerful. Ugh, he's such a strong legend. He's so good now. It's Looks like, I'm the like I was actually thinking maybe we is there any point going on the train in this mode? I guess we'll find out. We I was thinking maybe they'd nerf Gibby a bit in season four, but this just shows that they are totally not ready to nerf him, and they're going the complete opposite direction. I don't, yeah. I mean, I talked about that already. I guess they just really want to push for like support roles and things like that. Um, really strange. This just should just be full gold gear, right? Instead, we get no weapons, which is really scary, actually. Oh, dear. Yeah, we're gonna have to... There's literally no point going on the train. Lesson learned. <laughs> gold weapons everywhere, so... Yep. Oh, dear. I see ya, I see ya. Don't do me dirty, Bloodhound. I just need a weapon real quick. Double L star. Oh, charge rifle. Double charge rifle. Even worse. Uh. Triple charge rifle. Lucky he didn't get anything too great himself. <laughs> well. Oh, he got it. Okay. No problem. Give me a Kraber. I wonder how rare they are in this mode. Alright, onwards we go. Let's go find a Kraber. Onwards we go. Is there one in here? Nope. Try Drive was pretty fun. It's okay. Still really good, but like, I <laughs> remember when it first came out and you could just spam people with it because of the ammo. Could even use it up close, but the, the risk now is just not worth it. Crazy powerful weapon. Anything good in here? There we go. That's what we're after. And I think I hear some people down here. No, that's the Mirage of Voyage. Which is still in the game, surprisingly. Huh, okay. I guess they'll just keep it till uh, Season 4 then. Not bad. Obviously, we need to go to Capital. Along that way somewhere. Don't really know what I'm looking for, honestly. What's that? EVA. I wonder if they have all gold weapons or just the ones that are in the current season. Like, for example, do they have a golden wingman? Probably not. It's probably just the ones in the loot pool at the moment, right? Oh, I know what we could. This is the ultimate combo, right? What we can do is scout out of the charge rifle and then pull out the Kraber. It's going to be strong. And once we shoot them with the Kraber, we can just tickle them with the charge rifle. It's going to be good. It's actually going to be good. 
I haven't seen anything higher than level 2 armor yet, right? Maybe just level 2 is the limit. I have to wait and see. Definitely hearing some people sorting, so... Yeah, let's go that way. This place is seen activity. Show off. Alright, looking pretty quiet for now. So there's a lifeline drop somewhere nearby. Oh, I hear a path right above me. No. If he has a master for dead. There's a wraith. Ooh, bye. Wolf. That was close. Gotta stop that ray from rezzing though, right? Oh, 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 wait. We zoomed in and heard that. How does that make any sense? The Pathfinder's like, nope. Not doing it. Alright, alright, I see how you're playing. Wow, well, I don't know where they went. Scary stuff right now. Uh oh. No. <laughs> oh, that headshot was so fun, but. Yeah. Kraber Masters, basically, this is what this game mode is. Come on, Octane, you got this. You don't got this. South friends? Will they let it happen? No. <laughs> Alright. Thank you everyone for watching. I know this video has been crazy, but I hope you enjoyed it. Tons of cool stuff to talk about. So thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with a new video about um, what might be Dummy's big day, hopefully. A bit of a tease, maybe. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio.